So let me give you an overview of what you will get if you purchase the Revision Plus course. The Revision Plus course is making an assumption that you already have some knowledge. So the emphasis of the course is on exam technique and it's not really a course designed to tutor you. I will refer to things you need to know and give brief summations of the knowledge area but the focus of this course is the application of knowledge rather than the acquisition of knowledge. So you can see that the course is broken up into separate steps. We've got over 30 steps here. To begin with, I just, you know, make sure you're happy with key things about professional skills, about time management and the processes to maximize marks. And then each section sequentially follows the syllabus. So we have leadership, we have um, stuff on governance, so on agency theory, you will have, for example, here, there will be a summary mind map of what you are expected to have knowledge of in the area of agency. I also include links to the most relevant articles in each of these syllabus areas. And then there will be a question which you will have a full video debrief on. So that is how the course is structured. So you can see uh, there's these areas of governments. Then we've got stuff on strategy. We've got stuff on risk. So if we look on risk, there's again a mind map. Uh, here there's a homework question. So there are four homeworks that you must submit. So you submit them and they get marked with full feedback. Once you've submitted them, you will be able to look at video debrief reviews of how to approach each of the questions. So that is how the course works. To give you an example of how do we debrief questions? Well, every syllabus area will have questions related to it and you will be required to do either a past exam question uh, relevant to the specimen papers or a past exam uh, ACCA question. And the way in which I will debrief them for you, you can see in the following video. So here we have task 3B from the specimen paper one about internal control. It's asking us to evaluate the impact of the weaknesses identified in PSS's internal control activities and recommend actions to address those weaknesses. Professional skills here offer evaluation. So to identify the weaknesses, we really need to look at the exhibit which was given to us uh, on the day of the exam. So the exhibit you want to refer to is exhibit four. 12 marks are available. There are two parts to the question. What we're asked to do is evaluate the impact of weaknesses in internal control activities and then recommend actions to address these weaknesses. So where am I going to find out where these weaknesses are? Well, actually, these weaknesses are given to us in Exhibit 4. So here in Exhibit 4, which we received on the day of the exam, it talks about two weaknesses, one being the increase in the number of open call mattress guarantee claims. And the second one talks about the fact that PSS holds 30 patents. A recent check found that five had expired and the five expired patents were all related to the Baden mattress. So they are our weaknesses. So if I then, so just to summarize the weaknesses in internal controls, uh, first thing we identified um, increase in number of mattress guarantee claims and these guarantee claims are currently neither monitored or investigated which is a bit of a worry and the other internal control related to patents PSS has got 30 just discovered five have expired and the five that have expired relate to the bade in mattress for each of these two internal controls we need to think about impact and action We've got 12 marks. Yep. So we're probably looking at about six for each. Therefore, you know, three and three, if you want 12 out of 12, we don't need that much. But let's do a brainstorm to see what we can say. So what would the impact of guarantee claims be? 
Well, I would have thought if people are putting a guarantee and as there are multiple ways of answering SPL questions, just to ensure you understand, I've also created a realistic answer here. So from that video, we did a brainstorm. Here's the brainstorm. That's what you know a very comprehensive brainstorm would look like. But how do we then take that brainstorm and make it look into a really high scoring exam answer? Well, we use subheadings, we use white space, we use the brainstorm to develop our answers. And that is all here for you to digest as well. So once we've been through all of the videos, you will have a pretty good understanding of how to apply your knowledge. But to make 100% sure, probably about four weeks or so before the exam, we'll do our first mock. Mocks are an essential preparation for your exam and you will do it on the ACCA CBE platform. It will not only get marked, but you'll get massive amounts of comprehensive feedback saying where you're doing well and where you need to improve. So we do that. And then having digested and consolidated the mock two weeks before the exam, I will create a fresh mock for you based on the ACCA pre scene material, which will be coming out at that time. I'll write this mock with that material to represent the exam that you will be taking. You will submit it again on the ACCA CBE platform. It will get marked again by ACCA markers, not just marked comprehensive feedback. You cannot get any more representative than that. That is an amazing way to help you be fully aware of all the issues that might come up in your exam. And if you follow through what I've said, this exam is a given. Yep. You need to put in the work. You need to take on board what I say. I make it a relatively easy journey for you. Just make sure you follow it. Thanks for listening. I hope you sign up. I want you to pass this exam as quickly as possible. Best of luck.